Hello, in this video we're going to look at the production possibilities frontier and then talk about comparative advantage, specialization, and then trade. We have two countries, the U.S. and Mexico. Each country is going to specialize in its comparative advantage and agrees to trade eight soccer balls for two footballs. What does each country consume after trade? The first thing we want to do is figure out which country has a comparative advantage in footballs and which country has a comparative advantage in soccer balls. So starting with footballs, we're going to show that the U.S. has a comparative advantage in footballs. The opportunity cost in the United States per football is going to be 16 divided by 8 or 2 soccer balls. So where did I get that from? So we're trying to find the opportunity cost of producing one more thing on the x-axis. That's simply going to be the vertical intercept, 16, divided by the horizontal intercept. So 16 divided by 8 is 2, and again, that gives us the opportunity cost of producing one more thing on the x-axis. In this case, that is footballs. For Mexico, the opportunity cost of producing one more football, again, the thing on the x-axis, will be simply the vertical intercept divided by the horizontal intercept. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. So every time Mexico produces one more football, they give up producing 5 soccer balls. So based on these numbers, we see that the U.S. is the low opportunity cost producer of footballs. The U.S. only gives up 2 soccer balls to produce a football, while Mexico gives up 5 soccer balls to produce one more football. So the comparative advantage, again, is the country that produces the item at the lowest opportunity cost. So the U.S., once again, comparative advantage here is in footballs. Now let's look at this from the perspective of producing soccer balls. We're going to see that Mexico has a comparative advantage in soccer balls. For the U.S., the opportunity cost to produce a soccer ball is going to be a half a football. How did I get a half a football? So to get the opportunity cost of producing the thing on the vertical or y-axis, you're going to take the horizontal intercept and divide it by the vertical intercept. This is the opposite of what we just done when we tried to calculate the comparative advantage of footballs. So to get the opportunity cost of producing soccer balls, it's simply 8 divided by 16 or half a football. For Mexico, the opportunity cost of producing a soccer ball is going to be the horizontal intercept divided by the vertical intercept, so 3 divided by 15, or one-fifth of a football. So it's actually cheaper in Mexico to produce one more soccer ball than it is in the U.S. Mexico only sacrifices one-fifth of a football for each additional soccer ball produced, while in the United States, uh, they're sacrificing a little bit more, a half a football for each soccer ball produced. So the U.S. is going to specialize in its comparative advantage, producing footballs. In that case, it's going to produce eight footballs and zero soccer balls. Mexico will specialize in its comparative advantage, producing nothing but soccer balls, so 15 soccer balls and zero footballs. At the beginning of this presentation, we said the trade terms that these countries agreed to would be eight soccer balls for two footballs. So what does each country consume after the trade? So the U.S. is going to trade two footballs. So the U.S. was specializing in producing nothing but footballs. It's going to trade two of them away in exchange for eight soccer balls. So leaving the U.S. with six footballs, eight minus two, and getting the eight soccer balls for Mexico. So this is the, the point of consumption then for the United States. After it specializes and then trades, it's able to consume six footballs and eight soccer balls. So it's able to consume outside its PPF because of specialization and trade. Now for Mexico, Mexico trades eight soccer balls. It was specializing here producing 15 soccer balls. It trades eight of them away in return for two footballs. So Mexico will have two, foot, two footballs when all is said and done and seven soccer balls. The seven here is from 15 minus eight. Mexico was specializing in producing 15 soccer balls. It trades eight away 
leaving it with seven. And like the U.S., Mexico is able to consume outside its PPF. Okay, I will stop here.